There seems to be also a, a broad morale issue here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, DHS officers and, and more specifically Border Patrol officers who are, of course, under the sort of broader umbrella of DHS, right. they're saying that they feel caught in the crosshairs. There's actually a, there's lawsuits now or a regular occurrence as a result of these exchanges. Of course, we know under the Bush administration, two Border Patrol officers who are defending themselves end up getting sent to prison. I mean, right. is this a widespread problem? You know a lot about this stuff. It is a widespread pro problem, not just in the Department of Homeland Security, but also within ATF and also in the military as well. And my question for Kent is, do you feel like uh, Border Patrol officers don't are, are not capable of doing their jobs because they do have these sort of rules of engagement that they're using against heavily armed cartel members on the border. And is it fair to say that just because there hasn't been a fatal incident involving a Border Patrol officer with a, a rock that they should take that that crucial second and decide whether they're holding a handgun or some kind of, of more lethal weapon and a rock for a Border Patrol agent to decide? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh it, it can't help but affect an officer's outlook to know that if he makes a mistake or misjudges or judges a situation differently than some supervisor down the line three steps would have done, uh, judged it, that he may lose his job or wind up in jail. Uh, so the idea is, as we see it, is the firearms training is adequate uh, in terms of training for proper responses. Leave the officers alone to do that as they must. If you want to dishearten uh, officers, this is the way to do it. If you want to keep them from uh, doing their job as it needs to be done, this is precisely the tack to take. Buck, you know, I, I, I would love to know what the ACLU's position on gun control is. Mm -hmm. Because here it seems to me that they're saying, oh, well, you're getting pelted with rocks. Don't take the rock away. We just need to arm our border agents better with, with helmets and shields. I don't think that's an argument right. that they'd be making against guns. Yeah, and there's, there's yeah. also... Keep the, the guns. Just arm the citizenry well, there's better also with the issue shields of, of, and I mean, helmets. This is, yeah. And this is why we show those numbers. And those are just the ones that are reported. These rock throwing at border <clears> patrol <throat> agents has kind of become endemic now. And there's nothing being done about it on the Mexican side of the fence. They say that the Mexican right. authorities are not, they're not telling people to stop. They're not imprisoning people for this. I mean, look, I can tell you as a former MYPD person that if you hit an officer in New York City with a rock in the face, you're oh, going to jail. For a long time. The yes. idea that our federal border patrol agents somehow have to suffer this, like they have to just take rocks to the face. Kent actually was hit with the face, hit in the face with a rock during his time as a border patrol agent. The fact that that has somehow now become policy, I think, shows that there's just a lack of seriousness mm -hmm. about the mission at the border, and that's the key issue here. Yeah, yeah. Kent, final question real quickly. Do you think yeah. that this emboldens drug cartels to participate in more violent activities toward our border patrol when our border patrol can't even protect themselves against rocks? Well, if I say no, it's only because they don't need to be emboldened any more than they are. <laughs> Uh, we have Nicholas Ivey dead. We have Brian Terry dead. Uh, they're as bold as they need to be to get done what they want to do. Uh, but overall, the, the lack of uh, uh, appropriate response to these sorts of things from both the U.S. and the Mexican government simply uh, brings the agency into disrepute. Uh, that we are, and the nation as well, because we are not willing to take what necessary steps we must to protect our border and to keep this country's sovereignty intact.